Well, smack my ass and shave my balls. It's the best damn podcast from Chippewa Falls. I got you the chunky. (laughs) Good morning, all you hit guys and gals. Welcome to Tales from the Hicks. It's us. Who is here today? I'm Jason. And I'm Chad. BDC in the house. This is Ben. And I am Nate. And Ben has some special headwear. Just rocking it uh, like you know I said I would last episode. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. Styling and profiling as per usual. That is fantastic. Yeah, I... You know, it's unfortunate. That's the second time I've seen somebody with uh, that now. And I bet you the first guy didn't look as cool as no, I did, absolutely not. Yeah, no, makes sense. for sure. Well, and I guess for those just listening, Ben has the boxers on his head. Yeah, it's a good look. Feels mm. cool. I feel much cooler than I would normally. You do. Mm-hmm. So it's working. Yeah, I feel cool. Good. I don't know. Each their own. Straight gangster, yo. Yeah, you do. Catch on. For show. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Centre, Centre, what? What's that? Trend, trend, <laughs> trend center, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Woof. Yeah. You got to quit oh, reading my text. That's man. a tough one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got to stop that, Mr. Centre, Centre, <laughs> uh, in the house, <laughs> in the easy, Centre. Oh, yeah, you heard it here first, yep, folks. That's it. That's a new word. Uh, he's he's setting so many trends. He's making new words. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Got to That's how we roll. Yeah. It's probably because it's only 59 degrees out there today. It's fucking probably awesome. fucking it's cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 59 out there. They were ice fishing on uh, Little Lake with soda. <laughs> <laughs> Them guys are, hey, you got to get that first ice. Uh, yeah, they mm-hmm. were out there. Yeah. The guy it's upstream beautiful. was throwing out a bucket of uh, ice mm-hmm. from the weekend. Yeah, somebody will be the first one. No, it was well, chilly. <laughs> there has to be. <laughs> wow. Do you have to knock a skim off the bucket this morning so mm-hmm. you can sit down and use it? Mm-hmm. There's, there's an ice layer out there. Skin of ice on there. Mm-hmm. Skin of ice. So you're going to trudge through the snow to get to the second garage if you get out in the bucket. Yeah. Oof. yeah. I think you should really move it move into, into the first, first garage. Yeah. Mm. Just think you could put a little vent on the backside of the fireplace. It comes right into the garage. Mm-hmm. You you're set then. Well, all I have to do is buy one of those heaters I can mount to the ceiling, because I got gas line out there. What That's you should do is do. make it so it's a, the fireplace, True. like you can look through it. Oh. You know, because then you could go out in the garage and sit on your bucket, look <laughs> at the family. You know, warm your hands up. <laughs> Sup? How's it going, Tanner? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Can I get a hand out here? Uh, all right. Can I get a hand out? Maybe. Yeah, I can do that. It's worth a shot. Sure. Yeah. See through huh. fireplace. Yeah. Right. They make them. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Chad, what have you been up to? Uh, you know, I did uh, a little bit of camping, went up north, cut some grass, you know, looked at some wildlife, um, getting full swing into the fantasy football thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the time of year. Yep. So uh, just, you know, that's about it work is in there so getting ready for fall cleanups but Hmm. i'm glad i don't have a lot this year because that's a lot more time consuming but doing the leaves and everything yeah yeah yep but otherwise than that yeah same old same old Hmm. you get a bagger i do have a bagger sorry oh oh geez somebody on our call yeah well (laughs) (laughs) trying to do a podcast here what the hell what the fuck is going on tell them they're going to be on the show yeah coming to you live we got a call in hey caller breaking news oh shit Uh oh breaking news cmc is out for the year you thought i was bullshitting you that they were fishing out on the lake hang on wait for it The neighbor guy cut his lawn for the second time. Wow. <laughs> well, that's good. But yeah, no. Oh, there's more. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the nuzzin. Really? Mm, nuzzin, loving. Nuzzin. Well, I'm sure we'll hear about it. Hear about it. 
Yep. Um, Scent treader. Well. Okay. So, uh, Ben, okay. Ben, what, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> ben, what have you been up to? Sure. Nothing exciting. Okay. Watched as much Thanks. football as I possibly could. I'm happy Bye. that's back and worked. And so, what's what's the breaking news? Yeah. Apparently, a country artist. <laughs> Picked its top fan <laughs> hmm. really? this week. Shut up! You're ruining my moment. Really? I, yeah. Who was it? I don't. I don't know. They just top fan. Top fan. Top fan of the month released today. Well, tell us more. No, no, I didn't look it up. Don't oh. tell them more. Oh, okay. I'll tell no. you more. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> more what? No, I got. Well, you know, he up, has a boner going on right now over here. I can see the table is angled. So yeah, good Foot lord, straight out. put that thing away. <laughs> Jesus. God. Well, what was it? It's not my turn. Oh, I'm all done. Go ahead, Nate. No, Jason. We have an order that we go in. Yeah, but this Sorry. was breaking news. Yeah. Oh. Beep, 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 what? Beep. I just got a phone call. Okay. So at eight o'clock this morning, I got woken up by the buzzing of an email that I had gotten I had to from my dude. No, nope. you were still sleeping. I was. Yeah, you said I got woken up. Yeah. And, oh yeah. Um, Rachel Wire, she's the vice president of client services for the fan clubhouse. Says, uh, congratulations! You have been chosen as the Gary Allen Fan of the Month for September. Thank you for your continued support of Gary and his music. <laughs> Please send me your mailing address, and we will get a Gary Allen prize pack out to you. So, <laughs> well, way to go, Sal! In all fairness, Nate ran unopposed. So, <laughs> and, uh, Is that Greg's brother? <laughs> it's gotta be. <laughs> That's the. Uh, oh, yeah. 472nd consecutive month that Nate has won the Super Fan of the Month. <laughs> no shit, huh? I was excited. That was a good way to wake up. Uh, I was excited. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, there's other good ways to wake up, but that was that definitely down. one of them. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Did it wake the uh, guy next to you up? No? <laughs> <laughs> What'll be great is when he gets the prize package and Gary sends a sticker back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, you're going to have this yeah. fucking thing back. Yeah. Hey, check these guys out. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Well, that fuck? would be fucking funny. <laughs> that would be, yeah. <laughs> be kind of funny. You're going to get a topless <laughs> photo <laughs> of him or something. Yeah. I yeah. honestly can't believe he has a fan club. Come on. Well, wait. that blows my mind. Is it your first time? Yeah. How is that possible? Well, it's the first time I entered too. That oh, makes a so lot you more entered. sense. Well, you have to enter. I mean, you have to be a fan. You have to be a member of the fan club. Yeah. To enter. Okay. But then they randomly select. Whoever. Randomly. <laughs> like I said, ran unopposed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Gary, well, cool. you're not gonna fucking believe it. We got a person in the fan club. <laughs> well, that's cool. So, when, and did it say how long or anything like that? Like, just it's in the mail, basically. Yeah, they just said they send something out. I'm going to see if it's even, it might be on his page. Oh, wouldn't that be something? Oh, it will be. I know it will be. I just don't know if it's there yet. Did you send him a profile pic and stuff? Or? Yeah, I sent my three, uh, the three pictures I have, me and him. Yeah? Yeah. Uh... Oh, see, this is this was who was August. This was Ashley H from Lubbock, Texas. She was yeah. There the... was a Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> Jesus, ain't nobody wishing for that. Yeah, yeah. She was the one for August. So, so you guys are friends one... now. I might have to. I have to send a request. Oh, so anyway, yeah, you Eskimo guys could brothers. tour. You guys could tour with him. Mm. What do that they makes, call those that, that makes them Eskimo brothers. Eskimo. <laughs> <laughs> interesting hmm. so that was yeah that, that was, was the breaking news and it's true yeah wow. well, huh. it's true yeah. well uh, congratulations yeah it's, i'm excited so um hmm. but i guess other than that yeah fantasy football draft on thursday oh his mind's still in a blur you know <sighs> from 8 a.m this morning hmm. yes well it's from getting not enough sleep but uh, oh, I thought that was going to go somewhere else. Yeah. Um, 
So Thursday was our fantasy football draft, and it was a um, there was tornado warnings and mm-hmm. thunderstorm warnings and all sorts of terrible weather. I heard that someone's mama had to come over to and and keep him uh, safe during the storm. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So your mom went to the draft? No. <laughs> <laughs> so that means she went to Jason. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mama. First thing she said, Mama. yeah, Nathan wasn't home. <laughs> 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 like she wouldn't have known that ahead of time. Hmm. Oh, she probably dropped him off at Patty's house. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where the draft was? Is that out at the M's Oil Garage? Yeah. 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 Oh, nice. They yeah. still got that going. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's the been... bar still or whatever and yep. everything in there. Yep. Cool. Um, so they were talking and they were wondering. Well, they trying to figure out if we started that or if that league started in '97 or '98. So it's been 25, 27. But it's on. Years. You do it online now. We do, yeah. But I mean, beforehand, Fanny didn't do it longhand, like yeah. weekly. Yeah, he kept it track of all the players every week. Yeah, that's how when fantasy football first started, you had to go through stats. Really? Yeah. I guess mm-hmm. I was not a part of the one that long. Well, Mine's always been online. I mean, right. well, ninety seven. We were but a young pup, yeah, and not like that Nate 12, wasn't as 12, well. 11, 12, oh, but seventeen, eighteen. Boy, I don't. I would have never started one then. <laughs> To go but through that's how it every you, week. Yep, that's how I had to do it. But and like paper. Or? So, of our, of the whole group, Fatty's kind of always been kind of known as more of like the responsible one. <laughs> <laughs> so we were in whatever round we were in, and he kind of stopped the draft, and he's like, uh, had asked us if should we do, should we make an adult decision here, or should we risk it? And everyone's like risk it because <laughs> there's a tornado warning and, oh yeah you know of course his thought is well keep yeah. the, keep the guys safe and you know maybe we should move this inside or whatever because he's like you know sitting in a big pole a metal pole shed probably isn't the safest place for yeah, uh, yeah but those six by sixes are probably yeah you know if you could attach yourself somehow yeah <clears throat> work out a right well, twister yeah they yeah, yeah. Uh, there was there was talk about oh everyone grab on to uh, Pete or everyone grab <laughs> on to Vaddy or whoever because they're like there's no way that wind is taking them boys anywhere. So, uh-huh. <laughs> but I had uh, I so I picked up the forty piece of chicken from Rosina's forty piece chicken and uh, fries and JoJo's and then six whatever size they are of the coleslaw and the guy at Brazina's is like you must be having a pretty big a good size party I'm like well there's 12 of us doing a fantasy football draft he's like oh you should have plenty and I'm like well I don't know what's your plenty there was none left over at the end Ooh. no how many pieces 40 40 so I mean uh, it's almost three almost three pieces a piece yeah but hmm which that's I mean that would be yeah, yeah. Huh. and I mean you get a good amount of JoJo's and fries, right? And, yep. You yep. know, JoJo's are garbage, but whatever. What? Mm. Well, Somebody might as well have a baked potato. Fuck no. Yeah. Yeah, but this way it's already cut for you. Yeah. JoJo's are delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, Chad's wrong. Yeah. Hundred hmm. percent. Put it on the calendar. Hmm. You uh, should try the JoJo's at the Circle C in Eau Claire. Uh, is that the one that's right off of Claremont? The little gas station by Bullwinkles. With the chicken? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their JoJo's are excellent. I'll take your word for it. Okay, just saying. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck you then. Yeah. Uh, I went out to eat last night, and I had the surf and turf, and I'm still, like, baffled that restaurants use canned mushrooms. Like a supper club? Did you go to an actual supper club? Yeah. Yeah, if it's a true supper club, definitely they should be using fresh. Now, fresh if fresh. you're at a bar slash restaurant, oh, like, right. then I can see it. But a supper club should definitely have fresh mushrooms. I would think, yeah. I mean, really, the onus is on you for ordering fungus with your meal anyways. Uh, so. I agree. Yeah. I, I agree with Nate. 
on this one. Get that shit mm. out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. If you want that, just go chew on some fucking moss growing on the mm-hmm. side of a tree. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Same shit. Fungus. Uh, Eat a cow patty. It's on mm-hmm. there. Check it out. Chad runs. Chad puts his feet in them. Chad does yeah. put his toes yeah. in them. Yeah. I've done that for what? sure. Yep. Waffle stomp on a fucking mm. cow patty. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Fucking it right <laughs> down the <laughs> drain. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh when I heard him say that I was like I just about pissed my pants. Oh, did you see it? No, he's not on the fucking web. Oh, we gotta. But yeah. I think I sent it to Lacey. Oh, I, sent, he I might seen have. the one I'm, that I sent. I'm not. He's not connected. But the link would take you to the to TikTok. He doesn't have TikTok. You don't have to have the app to watch uh, it. Some of you do. Do you? Yep. Yes, I, I seen did. that. In that cup? Yeah. Yeah. The coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You saw that one. I saw but that. that wasn't the foot fucking it down the drain one. No. no that was that a was, different one. Yeah. But no, some of them you can't, because there'll be people, I have friends that don't have TikTok, and then they'll be like, and I I do it because it's still in the same group. I'll get a text back that's, you know, I don't have TikTok. Yeah. Then don't yeah, fucking well, click I'm on sorry. It. But that one, he said that, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You still got it? All right. Oh, but I got a, this other one that he can't. He couldn't get. This is or isn't the foot fucking. This is the. Oh. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) I'll share the video on that when we do the. You'll have to watch YouTube if you want to see it. Oh, shoot. That's funny. Yeah, you'll have to watch the YouTube. That's funny. Um, Yeah. So, Jason. Yeah. Were you done? Yeah. Jason, what were you? What have you been up to? Oh, I worked um, all week, and then I left early on Thursday. I thought you were going to have off on Thursday. I left early. Oh, that's so. pretty much like being off because I got my forty in way before, hmm. so hmm. it was fine. But was it last week? Did some people get off of work early on a Monday? I thought they let some people go like at one o'clock. All because it was really hot. It was really oh, hot. It was too hot. Yeah, the some I heard some places gave you the option. Oh, it was yeah. an option. Yeah, not paid. Halfback option, sweet. Yeah, yeah, hot. You know, paid time off. Oh. It wasn't paid. It yeah. was hot as fuck. You could uh, at Wisconsin uh, Metal Fab. Yeah, uh, I heard that. Just happened at you know they told us right away in the morning. Hey, yeah. today seems to be. Miserable. I heard that about either it was either nine or ten o'clock at yeah. my shop. Oh, you got the option too? No. Oh. Fuck no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. We didn't even get an extra break or nothing. Really? Fuck no. We even got freezies. <laughs> oh, my God. And the option to leave at one. We want freezies. We have to buy them ourselves. Yeah. Well, see, there's, there's that thing called respect, and uh, I feel we get that at work. Oh, uh, nice. I'm, I have a pretty cool boss. Cushy. Office job. Yeah, cushy. definitely not cushy office job. Mm. Nope, it is out on the blacktop and concrete oh. right uh-huh. in the heat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't you drive a truck for them in the air conditioning? Yeah, not all the time. Oh. Okay. I mean, that is my job, but we don't have, you know, all the... It's not 40 hours a week I'm in the truck. The truck has air conditioning, though, right? It does. Okay. That's mm-hmm. all I was wondering about. <laughs> anyway. And that's why I work till 4, because uh, the... I, oh, yeah, I got to sit in the... Let the balls I, cool down. I, I did push off a, a lengthy delivery for the afternoon uh, for purpose. You know, well, on, yeah, absolutely. On purpose, but... No, most of the guys did... Take the option not that you, one. I don't blame them. But it's oh, no, I would, not. I would have nope. been gone too. It was hot. It's as fucking hell. miserable when it's it like was that. Torque. I've been in those buildings. I pushed bad. through. Did you? Yeah, yeah I pushed yeah, through. I'm sure you hit Monday. the thermostat because <laughs> you were cold. <laughs> yeah, you had to wear a sweatshirt. <laughs> it's the first time Jason took a sweater off at work. I did. It was <laughs> it was nasty. Ooh. But anyway, uh, let's see. So that was a week ago or whatever that happened. Uh, mm-hmm. So. This week I cut grass on Thursday when I got done, and I was outside from I don't know till seven o'clock at night, cutting grass, fucking around, planting some grass seed, all that crazy shit. And then didn't, didn't you guys go to a demo derby on Friday? Yeah, I went up to the Sturgeon Fest, and how was that? Good. It was good. Short but good. Short but yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's can uh, I think it's a dying sport. Yeah, I agree. Well, it's expensive and, you know, yeah. a lot of fucking around and yeah. not a lot of reward in it, you know. Mm. 
Well, that one was worth a thousand bucks. Thousand yeah. bucks for the winner, yeah. But you buy a car for five thousand bucks or whatever they're right. selling them for, you know. Yeah. It's not just that. Uh, that video I sent to the the freaking combine demo derby. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. It would. It'd be uh, those hits. I think would be rough. I mean, mm-hmm. you have a lot of weight. Yeah. In the front. Yeah. yeah Coming to an. Well, I mean, those stop. are expensive yeah. machines to be mm. <laughs> running Ooh. in a fucking demo derby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very pricey. Mm-hmm. Saturday sure. we went up to the cabin and cut grass, and then uh, came home and you and the fam. Yeah, yeah. Did you take your new mower uh, up there? No, I won't take that up there. Why? There's too many rocks and oh. shit yet that I haven't got out. Do you have a rider up there then, or no? I take it back and forth on the trailer. Oh, so you have an old? You have two riders at the house mm-hmm. at home. Yeah, I have one that I just use. Yep, for the house, and then one just for up there. Gotcha. It's an old craftsman Crash. rider. Yeah, huh. probably thirty years old, maybe. Yep. Nothing special. It's better than if pushing it, it. If it goes to hell, it goes to hell. I mean, that's yep. just that's why I have it. Yeah. Right. But yeah. So other than that, that was pretty much it. Storm. On Thursday, as Sal mentioned. Yep. And, uh... It suckled up. Gemma, you know, Gemma was over, and her and... I was outside, of course, watching the storm, because that's got what it. you got to do, yeah, you know? Yeah, 100%. And so I was outside the whole time, just right until it started getting pretty fucking windy and yep. rainy, and they were inside making cookies. <laughs> so That's what they're calling it calling nowadays? Them? Uh-huh. <laughs> cookies. They're nice. actually really good cookies, so. Huh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, hmm. good. That was pretty much it. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Should we do an email? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Hang on. Let me get it ready. I got mail. Yay! I got mail. Yay! Yay! Okay. All right. It says, Hey, Hicks. Keep up the great work, you fucking cunts. Oh, <laughs> all right. Damn. Yeah. Right out of the gate. God damn. That'll get our attention. That's, yeah. uh, that's aggressive. I work with Jason and wanted to share a funny story that happened at work the other day. Oh, boy. Jason was sitting around the break room table with a bunch of co-workers. We were shooting the breeze and talking about random shit like you do on your lunch break. Mm -hmm. One of the guys looks up from his phone and says, Holy shit, I just read that a plane went down in South America and three Brazilian people were killed. Jason's reaction was pure shock and grief. You could tell he was trembling with emotion. With tears in his eyes, he looked at me and quietly said, How many is a Brazilian? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's good. It's it's gotta be a lot. (laughs) Yeah. Three Brazilian. Three Brazilian. Three Brazilian people. That's a fucking, that's a shit ton. That Mm. is a... (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. That is a true story. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Um, Hey, listening to you guys reminds me of the show The King of the Hill. Mm. Who do you think you are from the show? Are you a propane man or a charcoal man? I make some mean flip-flop chicken on charcoal, but grass is more convenient. A gas. Oh, (laughs) whoa. Uh, (laughs) Smoking smoking the reefer. Jeez. Told you it's early yet. It's probably still raw and fucking eating the grass. Um, <clears throat> well, I can say that I've never seen the King of the Hill. I've never watched I've it. I've never seen I've, it. I've, I All knew right. it was the propane guy. Uh, I've, I mean, I haven't watched it a ton, but I've seen it a fair amount. Can you pull up a cast? Mm-hmm. You got Hank Hill and Boom yeah, He's Hauer the propane and, guy, right? Yep. Drinks beer. Yep. Well, they all stand around out there. Like, on, you know, at the end of their driveway. By the bushes yeah. or whatever, Hank right? Hank and yeah. Boomhauer. Boomhauer is the one you can't understand. Hmm. He Boomhauer kind of reminds me of Farmer Fran from 
uh, water boy. Hmm. Talking about gas and charcoal, we made steaks yesterday. Made some steaks on the I did too. Gas grill. Went down the soak ups and got some steaks and nice. Yeah, they were actually pretty decent. Nice. We, we did um, and steak. corn on the cob. Oh, you can't beat that. Mm-hmm. We did steak tacos. I bought some skirt steaks and then I marinated them with some lime juice and orange juice, a little bit of beer and cilantro and some seasonings, and marinated them for oh garlic, garlic and Worcestershire. I marinated them for uh, five six hours and then threw them on the smoker hot and fast and hmm. sliced them up in tacos. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I had hobo dinners yesterday, and nice. I haven't had those in a long time, and it was hit the spot hmm. for sure. Hmm. Yeah, those always those are always good. Yeah, the best in my opinion is when you're like ice fishing or deer hunting, and it's cold, mm-hmm. you know, and you're cold, and um, like I'll we'll do that ice fishing once in a while. We'll bring the little grill along, yeah, and then I'll do uh, like chunk up some venison and potatoes or whatever mm-hmm. in the hobo pack and throw that on the grill do when you're cold and you can eat something hot like that there's nothing better warms the inside from yeah out that's why i have a fire going <laughs> when you're hunting hunting at home it doesn't i got a fucking <laughs> fire just a roaring even when you're deer hunting fuck yeah dude really he, he's yeah he has had a fire huh yeah. well well so talking about that we were down by dole ridge <clears throat> Back behind, well, actually, it was behind Tavern Hill there, but to the to the south of Tavern Hill, and it was me and Pat Rubenzer. We were back there. I don't even know what the hell we were hunting, obviously, but we met up, and uh, he's like, are you cold? I'm like, yeah, kind of, you know. He's like, well, let's start a fire. I'm like, we're in the middle of the Flamble Forest. You're going to start a fire, you know. He's like, yeah, I'm like, Fuck yeah, dude, let's do it. <laughs> so we kicked out a big, probably 10-foot radius and kicked her down to dirt and uh, found some sticks and shit and had some logs that were laying there. We flipped those up, had a fire going. So he was sitting across from me. We were, whatever, maybe this far apart or whatever. I could see. Oh, this kid. It's this kid. Oh, it's your laptop? Yeah. I'm assuming. We have a special guest. Just the uh, oh. president of Ohana Pizza Company rolling in here. Look at that fucking look guy. Look at this. Yeah, look here. at this guy. Wow. Yes. Come on, rocking, the, rocking the swag. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, we have a guest, I guess. How's it yeah, going, yeah. George? It's going. Good. Right. It's happening. How are you doing? Thank you. Now uh-huh. you can draft. <laughs> Crisis averted. Perfect. Right. But anyway, when we were sitting there, I was facing him and he was facing me and uh, there was two or three deer behind him and i go uh just so you know there's like two or three deer behind you on the hill he's like yeah there's two or three behind you and i'm like are you <laughs> shitting me and i turned and no shit there was deer behind me and because they're not scared of the smoke they want to know what's yep. actually going on because yeah that's their living room and they want to make sure it's yep. not on fire so they're going to come investigate the mm-hmm. smell of the smoke hmm. uh, Neither, let me guess. Neither of you grabbed for a weapon. Oh gosh, all. no! They were no, ten feet shit, away from no. us. Yeah. Why would you do that during? <laughs> well, the we're yeah. we bedded up. We're not right next to the deer. <laughs> no. <laughs> but then no. that late, the next day, back at the cabin, man, we ain't seen shit. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> might as well be hunting yeah. in the dead, dead fucking woods. Yeah, there yeah. ain't a fucking deer around here for, um, for hundred square yeah. fucking miles. We only uh-huh. seen six yesterday. Yeah. 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 We had a fire going. We were six of us. Six of them standing around us. Uh, yeah. Nice. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm excited for that. It's coming up. Although I was talking to Goosey yesterday and he said that, he goes, I was a hunting band. I go, not worth a shit. He goes, the wolves are in Back. Pretty, yeah, Harvest Landing. Yeah. Yeah. Just have to follow the three S's. Uh huh. Shoot, shovel, and shut up. Yeah. Yep. I heard people. Not that I would recommend yeah, it. Yeah, no. It's not at all what. No, I read about it online. That's all I know. Yeah. Well, I, that, probably that same article somebody said, well, if you for some reason see one that gets wounded with a collar, you're supposed to put it in the water so, you know, it survives and floats. Oh, like, like the tracking the, keeps going. Sure, yeah. Hmm. Same article. 
Mm. That was I, on the DNR website. Yeah, I think yeah. so. The, the go. Wild, I thought. The I thought wild. it said you just. <laughs> I thought it said you just take that collar and like strap it around a squirrel and let him go. Oh, maybe that was it. No, that I'm was sure. the back of an eighteen wheeler. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. That's that good. wolf can fucking run. <laughs> Look at that son of a bitch go. Yeah, he's in. T- he's in Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Not that I mean that must have been the same article I read too. Yeah. It? Well, I would imagine. Yeah. Hashtag fake news. You know. Yeah, fake news. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. No, that's no. Wolves are beautiful animals. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. But in some real news, um, we talked about. I think it was last week or the week before. How um, down in Iowa, at the Field of Dreams, the MLB had a classic mm-hmm. pro yeah. game. Yeah. They're doing it again. Yep. But at Bristol speedway Ooh. on the inside of the track really oh no yep. shit august 2nd i believe it is now what would make that more exciting is if they had a race going on at the same time at the same time and when you know maybe somebody hits a deep fly ball and you got to make that decision whether or not you're going to run into traffic <laughs> yeah. and make that catch that would be yeah that could be the base path you know on one uh-huh. of the corners like yeah. two to three or whatever uh-huh. yeah, yeah. I like where your head's at. Yeah. yeah. It's in his underwear. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> is. Where is that? Te- <laughs> technically my boy's underwear. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. Wow. <laughs> cut. Cut. Yeah. I should have picked a pair that had been washed instead of some dirty ones. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, give me those drawers. I got to go. Dad, no. <laughs> Statue underwear. Uh, <laughs> he's too young for that. Uh, Not yet. Uh, <laughs> Not yet. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have a new segment. I do. I had an idea for a new segment. Let me uh, let me break out my notes. I apologize; they're not on paper. So <clears throat> I'm gonna shout out the name of the new segment, and then we'll give it a rundown. So this is called "What's That Acronym?" Oh. Oh, so yes. Jason is well known for guess. his. Uh, Deep deep dives on acronyms and knowing everything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give the acronym, and then I think me Chad, me BDC, and Nate will vote on will vote or just say whether or not we think Jason will know what oh. it is. Okay, okay. good. And uh, there's probably a handful I won't know, but I'll be honest. I put some on here that I did not know were acronyms. Okay, but I just thought it was really cool. Yeah, no. So I'm, I'm all I've, for it. I got I got well over fifty here, but I figured we'll do like five a week. Sure, I'm works. not going to bust them all out today, obviously, but we'll do five a week. So, all right, first one, sonar. Um, I think he knows what it is. I don't think he's going to know what. Right. What? The yeah. Are. What the acronym is? Yep. Right. Like the radar, sonar. Like sonar what, radar. That's an acronym. What does it stand for? Oh, pff. the weather. <laughs> no well. each each you know what acronym is we yeah. always talked about that right like yeah. each of those letters is a word so i no. i honestly didn't know that this yeah, was an acronym it. and it 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 is sounds navigation and ranging hmm. i did not know that sonar was an acronym i didn't know that either no i just assumed it was a, a word like, yeah same Yep. There's a few on the See, list. That's right. that knowledge. That not, yep. I wasn't that There's a few on the list that are like that. Like I was like, holy shit, I didn't actually know that that was an acronym. Hmm. So huh. the second one is zip, like your zip code. Oh. I, he's not going to know what it is. No. Yeah, I would agree too. And I, I'm, uh, I'm going to. It was a learning same. moment for me as yeah. well. Zip code. No. No. I no. That is zone improvement plan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Next one. Well, you would think he would know that, and he still sends letters and stuff. And <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he's old enough. Probably he can remember when he had to dial one. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really no, it was a zero. <laughs> we just had to do a crank on the <laughs> the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and it rang Hello, operator. operator. Yeah. 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 Let me plug you in. Yeah. <laughs> Party line. Mm-hmm. Oh. Speaking of things that have been just gone, did you know there used to be a thing that you could call and it would just tell you the date and time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? no more? I don't know. I'm not sure. Remember you when that. you used to have to call and hear the movies and what times they were on? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Call the movie line. <laughs> yeah, movie, Actually, I yeah, think there was a, a number you could call and you could hear a story. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they would the, tell some kind of a library or something. Yeah. Yeah. Story of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually believe, though, back one second there, I believe you can still call the movie theater and it tells you the times of the movies. Mm, I don't think it does. I believe so. Because huh. I've called the movie theater and I just get, welcome to Micon Cinemas. And they don't, like, there was no option for movie times. They listed their hours and that was about it. Hmm. Hmm. Speaking of movies, Friday, uh, so September, whatever it is, the 6th, I think. Fourth or 5th? No. Beetlejuice 2 comes mm-hmm. out. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yep. 6th. The 6th, yep. I think well, it'll be pretty good. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's amazing because on the 5th I start bowling. Jeez. Huh. That's That's fall. a long That's, season. Yeah. I can't. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Well, you got your new balls. I do. Got my new balls. Fancy. Mm-hmm. All right. I got a couple more acronyms. This one is FOMO. FOMO. Uh, oh, I heard FOMO. that. Uh, we got it. I don't think you'll fear know. Fear of missing out. Oh, oh look at I that. was wrong. Yep. Wow. Wow. Stumped the stumper. Huh. Huh. I, I would have guessed not. Would that not have known a good that. One. Next, next one. <laughs> next one. one is pin. Pin. pin? Yeah. Oh, I know that one. I don't think Jason will know it. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah. Think of pin. your debit card. Pin number. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. But put what in, does the put P in stand number. for? Pill it. Put in put, number. Put in <laughs> number. <laughs> I mean, it fits. It, it does. fits. Yeah. <laughs> number was correct. Personal identification number. Oh, yeah. It's your PIN. Put in, I'll I, never not I hear that. Put in number. What's your put in number? What? Yeah. I have a PIN number. No, no. It's... No. All right. Last one for this week. FUBAR. Ooh. A FUBAR. I don't think Jason no. will know this one. Do you guys know you what know this what is? FUBAR is? This, this no. one I did know. I, I my I mean I know it's not, but I my mind went straight to Fubu, but no, it's not it. That's not it. Is that a kid's word for uh, yeah, it's, Fubu? They sell hats like Ben's wearing, I think. Oh probably. yeah, probably. No, Fubar. Fubar. Tec- I believe technically started as a like a military slang, but it's in popular culture now. Fubar. Oh, this is Fubard. Mm. Okay. Oh, I, I uh, is it fucked up beyond all repair. Recognition or recognition? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Never heard of it. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's a good segment, Ben. That's a good one. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> like I see one, one, one right. I got a big list. Twenty percent. Hey, if anybody else knows, well, or has not a, those five, not but those yeah. five, but something else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Send them in. Absolutely. We'll see if Jason knows. We could. Hey, uh, uh, you he, could give two of them right now without the definition, and hopefully our listeners are truthful enough. They can send in an email without yeah without with researching it. Their guess of two two of those would be something to do. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. No. I'm not gonna know what they are anyway, but no. send them in. Stump me. What if they're the two that you will know? What about faithful? F A F O. I know. Is it? Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, all right. <laughs> never mind. No, well, it's all right. Give you a week or so to ponder that then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to forget by the time I get into my truck, so it's going to be brand new when he says it anyway. Good. Hmm. Well, F-A-F-O's? F-A-F-O's? Yep. yep. No. All right, let's do some news. News. Let's do it. Like literally? Or? Yeah. Wow. Mm. We can do that. Next this, this, um, I mean, it, it's it's a video, but I don't know if you guys saw it or heard about the dude on the golf cart and on the golf course that drove the Ford Ford Bronco just fucking right through a golf course, almost ran a bunch of people over. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's the or not article, but the video that I saw says out of control driver. He was not out of control. He definitely knew what the fuck he was doing. Right. He just went on a rampage, like he's on the road, and then, boom, he's in the middle of the golf course, running down, like almost ran over a couple golfers, like hit a couple golf carts, just going nuts. Huh. Where was this? Uh, Delaware. Delaware. Hmm. <laughs> yep. 
Oh. Was guess. it white? Was it a white Bronco? No, it was, and it was a new Bronco. <laughs> what did, uh, was it blue? Yeah, blue or gray. Did he not hit a golfer on the tee box? Mm, I thought he jumped out of the way, but I don't know for sure. He might have Did the guy him. have a light blue shirt on? I don't know. I didn't okay. look at it that close. Because I've seen that one, and the comments sit on there. Apparently, he lied to his wife about his tea time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that. So hmm. this one <clears throat> kind of made me think of Jason. I'll need to turn some audio on. This is a horse. That's right. You got it right, Ben. <laughs> like a horse. <clears throat> Why is it not working? Come on. Well, maybe I can't watch it. It doesn't want to play. Hmm. Well, that's sad. All right. We'll come back to it. Oh, that one's, there we go. <laughs> Lady's riding a horse. So he's doing, uh, what's that movie, Grown Ups, where it's the cough, fart, sneeze, or burp, fart, sneeze? Mm-hmm. He's doing the cough, sneeze, and you can see him cough, and his fucking tail shoots right up in the air because it's coming out of both ends at the same time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, farts are funny. I don't care. Uh. Yeah, farts are funny. So then real news. <clears throat> This might have been related to Chad on his hamster incident. Mm. Uh, man sticks two-foot eel up his butt, gets surgery after the eel chews through his intestines. <laughs> You'd think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, was there a purpose? I'm assuming <laughs> pleasure. Ugh, dramatic turn. Mm. Mm. Well, Intestine. You had four gerbils in your shorts. Yeah. Still only found three. Yeah, mm-hmm. Still. still. <laughs> I mean, I a two-foot eel. Yeah. This funny. happened in Vietnam. Mm. That's, that's long. They actually had to remove part of his colon. Mm. I don't get it. No, me neither. <laughs> the UK's first teacherless AI classroom is set to, to open this year in London. That should go wonderful. That should mm-hmm. go great. It's a private school, and I think it said there was 12 students who enrolled in this class, but it'll be completely taught by AI. Hmm. That's artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, yep. <laughs> I knew that That's one. Just sure keep us all on the same page. Here. Yep, yeah, <laughs> keep it together. So um, I had read a, a while ago um, that in Korea, uh, Japan over, or not Japan, Asia overall, um, like birth rates are dramatically down and they're actually worried because very few of the younger generations have any interest in like getting married, having families, all that kind of stuff. But this district in, I don't know, I probably won't say this right, Busan, uh, it's in Korea. They are trying to encourage couples to get married and have babies to boost their low birth rate. So this one it says district. Uh, I don't know if that's like a state in our world. Maybe. Um, is offering 1 million won, which is $720 US, mm. just for initiating a romantic relationship through its matchmaking event. So they're holding like instead of Sturgeon Fest, they're holding like a matchmaking event trying to get guys and gals to hook up. And you get mm. 720 bucks for that? 720 bucks if, you, if okay. they um, hold... A Sangian Rai, which is a meeting of family members. Is that AKA soaking? Mm, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. But yeah. And if they actually do get um so if they hold the family meeting, they'll get an additional two million. And if they get married, they get twenty million. Juan. I'm in. Hmm. Long distance. We'll just sure. AI it. I don't see why that could work. I mean, that's twenty three million. Well, their money. Well, it's like twenty three grand. Our money. It's not terrible. No, I mean, it's nothing to sneeze at. Well, <laughs> I have to book that flight. I'll do it. Uh, we'll go to Tales of the Hicks. Sure. You Field know? trip. Sure. Oh. You and Nate can get saddled up. That could be a tax write off for twenty three thousand dollars. I. 
It doesn't say you have to live there. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's fine print. Yeah, I'd have to look into that. Yeah. We'll look into it. Okay. We'll get back to you. You've done it for free. I Why know. not make $23,000? <laughs> yeah. 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 Shit. Right. Done, done it twice for free. Right. <laughs> Probably came yeah. out on the losing side of those. I mean, at least this way you're going in. Right. You know. Guaranteed to come out a winner. Right. Well. Uh, Even if it's only half. Yeah. You're still coming out. Plus, you don't speak their language, so yeah. if she yells at you, you just nod your head and smile. Yeah. Right. You well, know? that's what I do even if they are in English. Wow. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Until the door closes and then you say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Tail between the legs. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never do it again. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry I cooked eggs in your pan. I won't let what? it happen again. I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't cook. cook. I wouldn't be a cook. <laughs> uh, DoorDash. I won't order DoorDash before 11 again. <laughs> I'm sorry I, o- I ordered Panda and didn't ask you if you wanted any. I had Chipotle. On Please don't yesterday. hit me again. Yesterday? Yesterday. That was your fine dining? No, that was oh. for lunch. Oh. Where was the surf and turf? Well, it was up at... Uh, <laughs> um, Did you forget or you can't say? Well... I guess it wasn't necessary. Yeah, uh, I was up at Old Abe's. Terrible choice. Oh. Why? <laughs> it was delicious. So the thing... Except the canned tomato. Or was, canned mushroom. I just don't understand that. Especially there, you'd think they'd... Right. How do you know they're canned? You can tell. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's quite the difference. Yeah. Sli- slimy, kind of. Yeah, and yeah. They just they're all that. slimy, aren't they? No. Yes. Fresh no. ones are... No, fresh ones are... You can tell a huge difference. Yeah. Okay. No. Um, they're the same, but they have disgusting. Um, they're the Water's Edge cheese curds. They're the square, square ones. Oh, those are so. Those are not cheese. They're curds. made right down in Chippewa. Right yeah, down, yeah, 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 I, don't right like by the I ball do ball not like square cheese curds. What? They're good. They are the that that was Can half the reason it? I went there. You ever was, been to uh, Milwaukee Burger? Yeah. Yep. And you get that big well, yeah, cheeseburger, they, they, cheeseburger with the them. those big. I won't even eat their cheese curds. Cheese curd burger, ain't it? Yeah. That's fucking delicious. Yeah. I, to me, the ratio of cheese to air and batter. breading is, or batter, whatever you want to say, is I do not like those great big square. Look, because the batter is infused in the cheese. Like, it's part of it. They're not like, it's not like a square chunk of cheese and then dipped in batter. It's like the batter is all, like, mixed in with the cheese, and then it's deep fried. Huh? It's true. And Milwaukee Burger? I don't know Milwaukee Burger, but like the Water's Edge ones. Those are the smaller squares, right? Yeah. Yep. Those are okay. I'm still not a... They're okay. Well, you're wrong, but... Sorry. <laughs> Just like square pieces of pizza, Ooh. fucking square cheese curds are out. Mm. See, you're wrong. Wow, you're really against the square. He's just square. not a square man. I want my cheese curds au naturel. Cheese don't come in squares. Mm. Mm. Not uh, curds, at least. Okay. I was going to say, because I've seen it on TV. I think that's exactly how they make cheeses in blocks. Correct, but not curds. Okay. Anyways, next one. Hmm. This is an interesting headline. Sleeping pilots are rare, says Global Airline. Wow. <laughs> no shit, eh? Yeah, that'd probably be a good thing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I would God hope it's damn. more than rare. I would hope yeah. it's. Well, like, I mean, they have autopilot, I guess, and there's zero. A, there's always more than one pilot, but that's still, true. You would think maybe um, get your nap in before you fly the plane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, and then this last one is a little bit older one, but I I don't think I did it last week. Um, Disney says a man cannot sue them over his wife's death because he agreed to Disney Plus the the streaming platform. He agreed to Disney Plus's terms of service when he signed up for their streaming service. Oh, she died. I was going to say. So they were in Disney World or Land, I don't remember, and they went to one of the restaurants in the park, and she had a very bad food allergy. They asked the server multiple times, like, can I get whatever? Will it be safe from, I don't know what she was allergic to, peanuts or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyways... They assured them multiple times that it would be safe. The food would be handled separately. They would not come into contact. It was not. 
they served it to her. She died shortly thereafter. He tried to sue Disney because they assured them that the food would be safe. And because he signed up, and I don't even think he he actually had Disney Plus, he had signed up for a trial like a year or two previously. And because he had agreed to those terms of service in that trial, he could not sue them for his wife's death at the theme park. I would almost think there's a lawyer no. out there that's yeah. going to try to still take that case. I'm sure. And they, they talked about how it was still ongoing, but that that was Disney's initial response was... Hmm. And and I mean oh. it wouldn't shock me, right? You well, don't. Nobody looks at those terms of service. No, right. That's like the old South Park show about the uh, the Apple's terms of service or or whatever. That was a whole couple episodes of the series. But yeah, hmm. Hmm. interesting. So yeah, don't die at Disney. Right. If you have their terms of service, Is this the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. That's the way the horse one was for me. No hmm. bueno. It's good. Not, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yep. So I watched a movie yesterday called Trap. It's Is a it new... scary? No. Get some kahunas. Watch movies. Come on over here and hold these kahunas. Wow. From the guy who gets suckled by his mother on a mm. nightly basis mm-hmm. <laughs> get some cojones that's you uh, mate whatever mom says mine are the bestest <laughs> 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 and they're hair free and soft as a baby's bottom <laughs> uh. she soaks them in buttermilk twice a week thank you very much Anyway, um, it was a movie called Trap. It was uh, these. This dad takes his daughter to a concert, and the concert is ends up being well a trap. Where it's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, Star Wars. It's FBI agents and police. Federal all over Bureau the place. of Investigation, Jason. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Ben. Yeah. 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 gotcha. Um, and they're they're on the lookout for a serial killer. And they had information or heard that he was going to be at this concert. So no one was going to be able to get out uh, once they were in. Was it a Gary Allen concert? No, it was a Lady w- Raven concert. T-Swizzle. Well, Lady I think Raven. it was, yeah, Lady Raven. It's just made up. Made up. But sure. it was, uh, so it's a M. Night Sh- Shyamalan. Shyamalan and Ignong. Yeah. Um, which he's got a few good movies, but I always like his twists that he usually does. This one didn't really have that big of a twist in it. I think the only one that of his that I really cared for, I guess, was the Bruce Willis one. Ring or not rings? Um, signs. Signs. Yeah. Um, there's one called The Village. That one was fan- that's a fantastic movie. I don't. I don't know if I saw that one to be honest. That one has I one of the not. best twists. That I've ever seen in a movie. Hmm. But Where is this movie in the theater? No, it's on. Well, you it used, to, used to be a voodoo. Now it's called Fandango. Oh. Get your kids to get you logged in. They have my account. <laughs> okay. I think I remember seeing that commercial advertised yeah. for that movie. Yeah. Looked pretty decent. And then there's another one that I got. I haven't watched it yet, but it was. It's called uh, Long Legs. And that one I haven't I haven't watched that one yet. Mm. But have you guys seen the new Deadpool yet? Mm, I don't no. watch those. You're not big superhero movie no, guys. I have mm. not. But I, the people that I did talk to at work and amongst uh, friendships, they said that it's one of those you don't have to watch the first two. You can just go right and watch the third one. I was very disappointed in it. Okay. I, I haven't seen it. Yeah. I just I thought the first two were really good, and I didn't. I didn't think this one was all that great. Friday, Tanner and I watched Back to the Future. Oh, we! I almost talked. Was gonna. I thought about trying to talk the wife into going up to the Stardust last night, mm. the one between Shatek and Race Lake. There, mm-hmm. the one screen was Back to the Future One and Back to the Future Two, mm-hmm. and the other screen was Goonies oh. and. That's good. You're coming home. With they me. were both classics, mm-hmm. old classics. Yeah, and I was like, ah, that would be. 
Yeah, I can't remember what the other one that was playing with Goonies, but yeah, they were both good. We haven't been to the drive-in in a while. Yeah. We Spin new- the wheel of <clears throat> destiny. There's a new movie coming out that involves the Little League based on a true story. I'm super excited to see that. Really? Yep. You Gotta Believe is the name of that movie. Hmm. It's like Sandlot. Um, I, I haven't watched the full trailer, but yeah, I'm assuming, you know, it's about a history of a team that had hmm. no business being there and end up nice doing well. Hmm. So this we, is for the bag. Yeah, we got the uh, drawstring, Tales from the Hicks drawstring bag. I'm going to give that away. We have these four, four entries that I had. About the same amount of odds to be the uh, monthly Watch Greg Allen guy. Yeah. yeah. Fan. Yep. Fan of the month. All right. Super fan. Let's see if I can. Bear, 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 Ding, 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 ding. All right. You guys ready? Spin it. Oh, oh, imagine that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, imagine. If it's ever been set up, it's. Shock the time. <laughs> so for those of that that weren't watching, that is Karen L. Huh. Uh, Whose J- mom is that? Jason's mom. Mm. Uh-huh. Who's mama? Jason's mama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mom, it's gonna rain tonight. Can you come over? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gonna rain. Uh, uh, don't worry, when she comes over to give you a bath tonight, you can give her the drawstring bag. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's probably now just going to put all the soaps all and scents in here, and yeah. then she's bath just going to bring this over to them. Yeah, and every the back massager, yep. bath yeah. toys. Yeah. Yep. Mm. yep. <laughs> That's what uh, <laughs> she's going to bring this back to him every Bye. week. Then. Screw you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> What's the milk that you dip his nuts in? Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Yep. Just can put that in there. Yeah. Little jar of buttermilk. <laughs> keep everything soft and supple. <laughs> mm. We gotta keep you looking young, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then we got one more. Ooh, one more giveaway. Look at that fancy oh. fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Well, this here is a full-on backpack. Perfect time back to school. Oh, back there to you. school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Send your kids yeah. with the Tales from the Hicks podcast. Absolutely. Back They'll back. love that. So, yeah, with the smack my ass and shit. Yep. balls right on bigger than shit. <laughs> I don't that. see any problems with that. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've, uh, it'll work. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Two pockets, right? Yeah. Front pocket, big pocket. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, make sure yep. you... Uh, yeah, yeah. Like the post, comment on the post, share it, and send us an send email. Send an email. That's yep. the big to get in. Big right. one, and that is hicks at tales from the hicks dot com. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, well, as our previous winner, you literally just a simple email. It doesn't have to be lengthy or yeah. Well, send us an acronym. Yeah. yeah. Or you know what you thought of the new episode, even. Mm-hmm. So whatever you like, segment I should say. Yeah. Yeah, any uh, anything will do. So, mm-hmm. send us an email and tell us how much you dislike Gary Allen. Yeah, and send us an email if you are Gary Allen. Yeah, that's not happening. Sure. Hey, the contact is starting to get. I mean, the sure. lines of communication yeah. are open. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, you can respond to her and be like, "Hey, did you get a chance to listen to that podcast?" Yeah. Or? Yeah, he built, yeah, yeah, I listened. Fucks. I listened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's, that's what he's going to say. Oh, mm-hmm. Greg, you just made my day. <laughs> I was pretty excited. I can imagine. That's why, yeah. That's why he was up so early. Yeah. He'll be having a suicide wank tonight to see if Mama makes it tonight. in the bathroom first. It's about 15 fucking minutes when we leave. <laughs> <laughs> you get that in before his bath. Well, that's why I said it'd be a suicide wank. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Mom, I'm ready for my bath. <laughs> ah, I made it! Nathan? Nathan? <laughs> Dan, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. What do you have this picture of Gary Allen propped up on the edge of the bathtub for? Why is it all sticky? Uh. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, we mom, actually, <laughs> you won't understand, Mom. <laughs> Who's my big boy? <laughs> we did go out to eat on Friday, though. We went out to the new, uh, my mom and Dan, went, we went out to um, the new Horizons. Oh, what'd you think? Tilden. It was good. I had the two-piece fish dinner. Nice. It was good. Salad bar. Nice. Mm-hmm. We went to River Inn a couple weeks ago and had their fish on Friday. It was really good. Thanks. It was the first time I'd had their fish. Yeah, because well, yeah, usually you just get the chicken. monster chicken. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, the wings. Yeah. wings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have any of you guys tried the new uh, pizza joint up by Churchill's Triple Family? Yeah. I was there like a couple days after it opened. I had gotten a couple pieces. What would you think? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've had it twice now. One time was really good. Uh, the other time was not as good. Yeah. Um, but... I mean, I haven't been back, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, it was good. Well, but what they have is, like, if you go there, they have the, their special uh, where you get, like, a slice and a soda and a salad bar or Correct. whatever. So ten it's, bucks. I think, 10 bucks. But they have, is only certain pizzas that they have ready. You know? Sure, so that you makes can't, sense. I mean, it does, but it then it doesn't, I mean... You might end up having to have a piece of pizza of something that you don't really. Right. Care you can for. order it, whatever slice you want. They'll make you a pizza. Well, yeah, but if you want to wait, if you want to wait. Well, some of us yeah. are on lunch break. We don't have two hours. Or... Really? Oh, you just you can't get that all in an hour. No. <laughs> okay. Huh. Anyway, where is this place? The old Arby's up uh, oh, on okay. the hill by that gas station. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gas place, station. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. There's a new uh, Korean barbecue hot pot place in yeah, Eau Claire. Old, uh, Old country, country buffet. buffet. Is yeah. it open now? Yep. Okay. Opened last week, I think, or the week before. Hmm. You been? No. I've read some reviews on it. I don't he is Ben. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'd like to try it. I think yeah. I would go for lunch. Lunch is 20. Dinner is 30, I think. Seems like that's a, I mean, that's a good number. I mean, it's up there. The lunch. Sounds yeah, better. but I mean, it's all you can eat. And so right now, soda's included, and it's canned soda. So mm. you can have as, like, I can't imagine that's gonna last very long. No. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, is that it American soda or Korean hurry. soda? Yeah, it's you can get. They just had a the stand up cooler there with Mountain Dew and Pepsi, and yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but yeah, it's you get hot pot at your table. Which I I didn't really understand what it was until I started reading some of the reviews. It's you order they have like three different kinds of broth you can order, and you pick whatever kind of broth, and it comes to your table in a big pot that's boiling, and then you go up to the buffet and you, or maybe you order different kinds of meat, and then you dip the meat into the broth and like cook it in a broth and then eat it, is one thing. Then they have Korean barbecue, which I think is up on the buffet. It's where they do, like, hibachi. Mm. And then they also have, like, regular Chinese food that you can get on the buffet and sushi. They oh. have, like, five or diff- six different kinds of sushi. So there's a lot of different stuff. So. I was all in until then. But, I mean, I'll, I'll just skip that you just section. You just don't have to take it. Right. I, I, I didn't know what I would think of sushi, and I tried it. This is a couple years ago. We went to, what's the one over by Randy's? Oh, is it um, Tokyo? Yeah, that might be it. We went there and I tried some sushi, and it was not bad. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was all right. Hmm. Yeah. So, but anyways, something different to try. Hmm. All right. Well, anything else? Oh yeah. Um, Share it with everybody you know, and especially the ones you don't. There it is. And then give us a four star rating. Four star. We went down. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Was it what two or three weeks in a row? Yeah, a couple weeks in a row. Yeah. So much for that. (laughs) It's all right. We'll get it. We'll figure it out. We'll We'll get get it back back on top. Yeah. All right. You guys all have a fantastic week. All right. You too. You as well. Later. Adios. Adios.